Okay, so um, I got all of the pistons in the correct cylinders, and right now I'm trying to uh, determine whether I need to replace more than just Captain Obvious over here. Um, I cleaned everything up pretty well, but this piston, interesting. I was trying to diagnose why this actually happened. I said earlier how this this scar down the center has always been here since we own the boat well now I know why um, let me compare this piston to the one right above it we'll see there is a, a retention ring in here holding the pin in place see how deep that that pin is compared to a good one um, and you know not only is there no retention ring here this this whole thing looks like it melted but what happened is this retention ring must have been lost somewhere down the line um, and just literally this this groove here is literally from the pin itself being so far down there that it had nowhere to go but to drag into the cylinder so that's where that cylinder mark is so that's why we never had good compression because even with good rings and a good piston the pin itself was eating into the cylinder and the, the rings would be perfect and the cylinder, the cylinder the piston would be perfect and we'd lose compression right underneath the rings from here until eventually the thing just couldn't take anymore and see that big crack along here this thing was li literally you know one more one more outing see this crack one more outing of before just blowing up completely so um yeah this is junk but nevertheless this one goes here now the rest of the cylinders they all look just, you know really good there's nothing hold on a second okay Here's the, uh, the fingernail trick. There's nothing. I'm not catching my finger anywhere. Everything is really smooth, really nice. Um, as for the pistons, we do have. If I can get this to not be blurry. Okay, we got a little bit of a, a rub mark on this piston here, but. It's perfectly round. Um, I'm assuming that that's um, from some of the missing metal from here. Maybe more thinly, you know, because th this basically all the metal shavings, metal turned shavings and dust. So I imagine that maybe that's a thin layer worn onto here. But the um, you know the rings, everything seats fine. And other than that one wear mark, well, let's see, we got one by my pointer, one on my thumb, so, but it's still perfectly round, and the cylinder's fine, and the seat's fine in the cylinder. Now, the other two, there's a lot more marks. I wish you can get a better shot. See, some of this feels to me, like right here, I can feel this with my fingernail. Some of that feels and looks as if it's um not wear on the piston, but like metal on the piston. But you know, again, the rings look fine. I had good compression on these two middle cylinders. It's still round, uh, no cracks, nothing, um, you know, no structural damage. And the cylinder, again, my fingernail can't catch anything. It all, um, it's all very smooth, very clean. And the piston sits in here just fine. And then the top cylinder, 
it's just like that one, only the top one we did have, and ironically this is cleaner too. Well, on one side anyway. But on the top cylinder we did have um, lower compression, and um, I did take, I went ahead and took the rings off, and I scrubbed in here with a toothbrush and some degreaser. There was a lot of grit and stuff in there. Um, but as for the cylinder itself, you know, it's just like the other the cylinders, fine. The, um, the piston fits in there. It fits in there fine, and you know, this is without the rings, obviously, so it'll go all the way in. But um, I'm debating on whether I actually need to do anything with these other pistons. Um, I've already cleaned them. I'm just debating on whether I need to or whether I should replace any of them. Um, I don't really, I don't think I need to. Um, but it's questionable. I mean, there's always room for opinion. Um, the rings, I wonder if, I'm going to take all the rings off and clean them all like I did these ones. I got that one still sitting in some, some degreaser. Um, I'm going to put those rings back on here and compress it and fit it back in there and um, I'm going to do that with all of them and you know if any of them don't seem round or right then we'll go ahead and replace those I think one of, one of them maybe, maybe this one I, I've seen one of them that didn't look good to me see how one side's a little bit higher here but that might not matter once it's compressed and in the piston. Because again, we had we had 130 here, 130 here. I think we were at 100 here and zero here. So um, anyhow, well, let me know what you guys think. And um, I'm gonna probably go Monday and see if I can get some pricing on some boring and some honing. <laughs>